I'll be brief. Uh, okay, this is Black History Month, so therefore I'm, I'm in a history mode of thinking, mm -hmm. and I have two questions. One question being, why is it, you know, I appreciate how Fort Wayne is being marketed. I think everybody downtown is doing a great job. I think it's a good idea to look all over everywhere to get ideas to bring in Fort Wayne to expand our uh, intellectual horizon. My first question is, why is it that Fort Wayne's war history is never included in a marketing campaign of, of Fort Wayne? It's never included at all and the greatest wars ever were because of this land right here. And my second question is, as you create this grand vision of Fort Wayne, will black history be included in this vision and will Indian history be included in this vision? Because right now, a lot of people that live outside of Fort Wayne aren't feeling the love and appreciation that people concerned with downtown Fort Wayne are feeling. They feel kind of left out, and that's what I'm curious about. All right. Can anybody, no answers? It's normally, normally this is just, okay. a, uh, you know, this is your your time to be able to speak for three minutes and give your, what you want to. If you could, you can take any of us off to the side and you we can, we can answer any questions that, you know, because some of it might be just a knowledge factor for us, sir. We, we might not have the knowledge that you have in regards to the black history and the war history and the, the history in itself. Okay. So in my last 25 seconds, because one thing I've noticed is as different entities here in Fort Wayne are talking about uh, creating, well, some are even talking about creating a new identity for Fort mm -hmm. Wayne because we don't have one. Now, that's no far, you know. So, okay, I'll... I understand. I mean, sir, I'll be more than happy to spend a half hour with you afterwards and talk to you and sit down with you and discuss what you need to discuss. I've always been open with everyone. You know, I, I can tell you from that standpoint, but this is th this particular time is has always been set this way. I'm going by the rules. About celebrating diversity, black history, Native American, and Eric has done a great job with sharing about Chief Little Turtle and his impact on this community, and I think he just needs to continue to do that and to encourage um, the news media who talked about um, Fort Wayne and its vision to include um, Eric and others in that conversation. Yeah. Councilman Shove? Oh, yes. Well, thank you, Councilman Hines. Saved me some time, I think. But I yield <laughs> <laughs> my 30 seconds. Give me that extra 30 seconds. I yield my 30 seconds. I want to strongly echo things he said. I think. Mr. Hackley is extremely knowledgeable about local history and he has a lot to teach us and it's an extraordinary history and not enough has been made of it. We were an important center for Indian nations uh, countrywide. We had some of the great leaders in Chief Richardville, Tecumseh and Little Turtle and we were, because of our unique position as a portage between the East and the West, uh, we were a very important uh, location in the opening up of the uh, Northwest Territories. So I, I think, and, and I do think there's an opportunity with the work, work we're going to do around, along the river bank to celebrate that in some visual way. So For Eric, um, uh, as somebody also has a love of history, uh, and along with John Schof, I'm going to recommend a, a book to both of you. I've just gotten my copy, a new book, The Victory With No Name by a Dartmouth professor who specializes in Native American studies, but it's a book about the St. Clair's defeat uh, or otherwise uh, a, uh, a battle south of Fort Wayne in which uh, Chief Little Turtle participated, in which the U.S. Army sustained its largest uh, defeat uh, in U.S. history. And it's important books been reviewed, uh, been reviewed well. Um, as for Eric, uh, for black history and war history, uh, I, I love I loved history and do what you have to say because I think it's, it would be very important. Other cities use their history, uh, their catastrophes as marketing opportunities. Yet right here in Fort Wayne Lakeside area, we have the number three battle uh, ground in American history. And it's, it's a rock over there commemorating it, but we don't really talk about that. Or the fact that more people died in American history fighting over this land called Fort Wayne here than any place else. There's no movie here. 
but yet the number two place where the most Americans uh, were killed was uh, Custer's Last Stand, and it's just endless movies written about that. Why haven't we taken the initiative to create a movie about Fort Wayne and why so many people died fighting over this, over this land here? Because that's the one un unique distinction that nobody else has but us. Uh, unknown. I mean, just why Custer is a more, you know, known legend and uh, Chief Little Turtle and Battle with uh, St. Clair and all those things, I, I don't really don't know. But, you know, we would just, it's possible if someone could get interested in it. You might get interested. Why don't you do it?